So in this video, I'm going to talk about step-by-step -step way to start Amazon dropshipping. With the dropshipping, you don't need to obviously buy anything in bulk. I'm going to be showing you each and everything on the screen. And we're going to be dealing with the UK and US-based suppliers. So your customer will get the faster delivery time as well. I'm going to show you each and everything. Let's get started. If I come to eBay and I search for this item, and I'm going to search for similar item on Amazon as well, we're going to do a little price comparison i'm gonna go more into detail how to list the products and how to fulfill the order all that kind of stuff as well so you can see the prices for this one right here are over 30 pound nearly 40 pound for the stand which can charge your mobile phone your apple watch and apple headphones as well nearly 40 pound is the kind of average price right here on amazon but similar product right here onto ebay i'm gonna click on best match you can see the price is almost half on ebay like i seen some of them are selling it for little as 998 as well which can charge all three of your devices and this is the way we can simply pick up the product from here and then list those product over to amazon along with the other suppliers which i'm going to show you so let me show you how to do that so to get started with amazon drop shipping the tool which i've been using is called reprice hub the reason i've been using this tool is not just to list the product is also to monitor the product and also to readjust the pricing for the product and also keep an eye on the stock of the products as well inside the reprice hub they have many different suppliers so for example they are based in uk they are based in us a lot of them are right here so let's say we are using ebay as our supplier and i have listed a product from ebay to amazon and then the seller on ebay will increase the price or will go out of stock and i have that product listed on amazon and then how i'm going to fulfill my order and i don't want to sell that product on a loss as well so that's why reprice hub the reason i use it first of all it is the cheapest one and then every half an hour it's gonna check the prices and it's gonna check the stock levels as well so it is really fast at the same time you can get started with a free trial if you like it like that they have a free trial for that and they also have a subscription so it just start for 49 dollars per month but by using a link inside the description i will put the link inside the description you will actually get 10% off so they have all the suppliers from the UK they have suppliers from US as well and I'm going to show you how to actually use the reprice hub because this is one of the best tool if you want to start Amazon dropshipping so to get started with the reprice hub is we're going to sign up for the free trial and then we're going to create the payment policy and then we're going to list the product so it's just simple three step things i'm going to do it on the screen for you i'm going to show you how to list the product and how you're going to be fulfilling the order all that kind of stuff as well so the simple thing is just click on start for free trial i will put the link inside the description and then we're going to click on register now so we i'm going to put zen shah email hi zen shah this is just the basic information that you just have to fill for yourself and then just simply click on submit so once you are inside you can now add your amazon account right here so by adding amazon account all you just have to do is choose what market you are in so because i am in the uk so i'm gonna choose europe and i'm gonna choose europe and then you need to just select the country united kingdom and then just simply put your amazon on store name right here and it will be get connected with amazon store so just simply click on connect the amazon account and it will ask you just simply click on connect with amazon it's simply going to ask you to log into your amazon and this will be connected with your reprice hub and then it's simple as that you are ready to list the product on to reprice hub so once you're gonna log into your reprice hub this is how everything gonna look like obviously i have added the products but i'm gonna show you how to add the products from a scratch as well but there are a couple of things i want to show you before we do that because we need to set up our repricing strategies as well because that's really really super important and i will show you how to do that so rather than selecting everything manually i like to design a template and i will show you what do i mean by that this problem 
probably make your life really easy. So this is the product section. I'm going to show you all the products that you have listed. And then this is the lister section, which I will come down to how to actually list the product as well and how to sync everything up at the same time. So this is single lister, bulk lister, bulk link. I normally use a single lister. So I'm going to show you uh, how does that work. This is the order section. So once you receive the order, it's going to show you what orders are pending, what you need to process, all that kind of stuff as well. Going to be showing right here. And this is I will come down to because this will make your life really, really easy. At the end of day, you will know where to order the product as well. It will show you the address, all that kind of stuff. So, and this right here are this is the template which I'm talking about. So this is I have a couple of strategies right here, but we're going to design something for the scratch and I'm going to show you what we really need to keep in mind. So, for example, I'm going to design something from new and we're going to call it Zen by box because having a buy box is really, really important. What do I mean by that? If I go to Amazon right here, sometime it will show you one item is being sold by many different sellers. So whoever will have a buy box, when the customer will click on buy now, that seller will actually make a sale. So it is important for you to actually have a buy box, particularly once you are doing a drop shipping. So the reprice hub, it actually really optimize your listing so you get maximum chances to win the buy box as well. So what I do, I will compete for the buy box right here once I'm here and my strategy is going to be I go below the price but I don't go a lot lower than a price because this is the way I'm going to be competing like you know not making a profit I only go one penny less than the original buy box price this is the way you know everything will be simple when there is no competition from there what I I do is use the maximum price because there isn't competition so I want to go for the maximum price this is what you need to do what you you are, you know, you are competing uh, with nobody at the end of the day, you want to maximize your profit. But if the competition will go below my price, but I because this is is going to be all automatic, you know, that's why I like to set this first, so I don't need to go and readjust all the time. But I go when the competition go for uh, for my price, then I will match their price as long as it will fit inside my criteria, which I will show you because we can specify that how much the profit margin we're going to make at the end of day and then don't change my price when if i am at buy box then i don't want to change my price because i already have a buy box so what i'm going to do i'm going to enable that because i don't need to really go against anybody choose the minimum seller rating to compete against like what will be the minimum minimum if the seller does have a bad rating already then i don't need to worry about that because they already have a bad rating so so if I put that, let's say anybody who is below 90%, I, I don't need to worry about that because that's like on Amazon, it's bad rating already if you are below 90%. So minimum 90%, if they are above that, that's fine. I'm going to compete with them. Otherwise, no. But I always want to keep my profit margin from 5% to 20%. You know, that's like my maximum profit margin at the end of day in a, in a drop shipping space you know the profit margins are slim it depends on what's the total price of the item at the end of day but i like to start minimum and if i need to adjust something manually i can do that within one particular product as well so i'm gonna save this one zen buy box i we're gonna call it plan right once we save it it's gonna come right here and i'm gonna show you what it actually does at the end of day uh and then the shipping temp it, you know, I like to adjust that manually so I don't really need to worry about uh, the shipping template, all that kind of stuff as well. So in order for you to actually list the product, we're going to come here on a lister and we're going to click on single lister. And this is very, very simple. To be honest with you, there is, isn't much you really have to worry about. It's going to ask you Amazon ASIN, but don't worry about it. We can also paste the link as well. So for example, this is the item right here. Um, this is just for the sake of example obviously the item can really change but the, the way you're gonna list it it's gonna be same as well so we're gonna 
copy the URL on the top of the browser. You know, that's what we're going to do. So we don't really need to actually just copy the ASIN. I didn't copy the ASIN because some people might struggle to copy the ASIN as well. So just we're going to put the whole link and then straight away within like a like a nanosecond, it's going to find your product. So this is the product right here on Amazon. Two length is 2.5 meter and the selling price for 2.5 meter is 10.99. Again, this is just for the sake of example, I'm showing you one product right here. Okay, now it is telling me what is your supplier link. Okay, this is the product where you want to add yourself as a seller. Who is your supplier? Where are you going to be taking the product from? The reprice works with many suppliers. I show you the listing before, but for the sake of this listing, I'm going to show you a, a, a product. This one right here, it is six nine. 99 on ebay i mean there are bajillions of other products but just for the sake of this uh, tutorial i picked up this product so what i'm gonna do again i'm gonna take the link for the whole link the url and i'm gonna post that right here they work with a the walmart they work with the uh you know in in the uk they are working with wayfair many other brands as well so for this one now the settings right here in for for the sake of making let's say profit i can either adjust my profit and everything manually uh, so as i show you before or i can just simply select the template which you know zen buy box template that's the one i created i can just simply select that template from here and it this is the template gonna be applied right here but even let's say most of the time we have to adjust your like i recommend you to just manually because that's really going to help you to really optimize for the buy box as well and then make a maximum profit from one particular listing so amazon fee i leave it at 15 percent i normally leave that whatever the supplier is charging you for the shipping in this case it is a free shipping it doesn't really cost me anything so i'm going to do zero and then the tax if there is the tax factor you want to put that inside you can actually put that inside as well is there any kind of discount from then you can put that inside how long the supplier is taking to ship the item so if i order this one today it is taking about three days for the item to come so one to three days uh is is fine so three days is a handling time it's gonna take three days so sku optional doesn't really matter depending on how much is the limit on your amazon you can select the quantity but i like to start with two and three you know that's not really the problem and uh, if you are you can actually limit the maximum sale within 24 hour if you're you know some products are really higher in the demand so that the way you will never really have to disappoint your customer so if you really leave these things on right here you know what i mean when the item is sold then it will automatically restock the item again reprice product on amazon so if the price will change from your supplier it will reprice that one i will leave that on and if the supplier will go out of stock this is where the reprice hub really shine because this is doing everything automatically for you you don't really have to worry about it so it is a lister it is also the the pricing adjustment and it's also looking out for the stock as well trust me I, I seen many other tools they are way too expensive when it comes to drop shipping on amazon so this is my repricing strategy right here as we talked about zen re buy box plan so if i really need to win for buy box i can just simply select that right here and then I, all i have to do is just simply create the listing and that product will be ready for sale on amazon simple as that this is the way you just simply do the listing now when it comes to order you can actually look for your order within your uh within the re re reprice hub as well you don't really need to worry it, it it actually help you manage each and everything so for example this is the particular asin for this uh, kindle tablet right here you know what i mean so i got the 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 customer address right here as well where i need to ship and i got asin right here and if i just simply click on my supplier id which which gonna if you, if the now the product is not link anymore because it's, it's gone out of stock this is the old order i can just simply click on right here and then let's say for the sake of uh, the the hose which i was talking about the the pipe shower pipe it's gonna simply open up this link for me directly so it's gonna be saying okay well this item is sold this one particular on amazon and this is the link for your supplier and i can just simply come here take the the address from the reprice hub and i can just simply you know 
know, place the order for the customer and put their address as well. So the best thing, you know, once you are doing drop shipping and you are using eBay as a supplier, you know, you don't really have to worry about the packing. Like, you know, most of the seller, they use their own packing. So your Amazon buyer wouldn't have to really worry about like, you know, it's different once you're doing drop shipping from Amazon to eBay because Amazon use their official packing as well. And along with that, there are tons of tons of different suppliers on Reprice Hub and they work directly with them. So by using the link inside the description, you get 14 days worth of free trial. It doesn't cost you anything. And if you decided to upgrade to a paid plan, you will actually get 10% off as well. Check the video, which I'm going to link right here and check the link for Reprice Hub in the description.